What's going on, you furballs? We got a number of products that are going to be coming out here into July, into August. Definitely make sure you look through everything, decide where you really want to put your investments, do your own research. But this one is uh, one of our first here, July 30th. Wanted to jump in and talk to you about Mawari, this uh, D pin for spatial computing. Now, a couple of different things and features of why I'm, I'm excited about this project. I think it looks really good. And we'll go over the negatives as well. And as always, uh, when the sale does happen on July 30th, code doctor gets you 5% off. If you do use that code, you'll get entered into winning one of two of the licenses, the nodes that they're gonna be running. Now these nodes are gonna be guardian nodes. Um, and we'll talk about the nodes here in a minute, but let me talk about what Memori is and why I'm excited about it, okay? so. They're an immersive computer network. They've been around, they founded in 2017, been working since 2018, okay? So they got a lot of years functioning, working here, really bringing everything up uh, to a head. And this is uh, some of the things where we're at right now. So they got 50 plus deployments globally, okay? That's with working with different companies, groups, and whatnot, providing computer spatial networking, okay? 99.9% .9 of, uh, you know, uptime across the global network, 50,000 hours uh, streamed by their network in 2024, 80% reduction in the bandwidth usage. Okay, that's a huge uh, aspect for uh, users and stuff. And about one second average time for near instant start for user content experiences. Now, here's why I'm really excited. Okay, some notable demand partners. Okay, partners that have actually been utilize, utilizing them. KDDI, they've been utilized for a long time, many years. BMW, Netflix, you see here, Sega, T-Mobile. Yes, this is all being utilized by these guys, okay? They got a forecasted $5 million annual recurring revenue for 2025. And that's what I've been really looking at for some of these companies, right? Is what is our annual recurring, recurring revenue gonna look like? Because of course, that's gonna be what's gonna be really uh, driving the uh, demand the funds and everything with the token, okay? You can see some of the ecosystem partners, uh, they are working on Arbitrum. Uh, some of the guys, if you don't want to you know, run your own node, which um, I think this is one that you'll want to, and I'll explain why in a bit. And then some of the investors, 1KX, uh, Borderless Draper, and we have Samsung Next, okay? So Samsung Next, I'll leave all these articles down below as well, of course, with all the links as usual. Um, you know, they uh, explain in this article why they're investing in Mawari, a deep pin network, okay? Uh, and like I said, they're pioneering in spatial computing, okay? So think augmented reality and those sort of things, okay? Uh, VTubers, so, you know, Samsung mentions in here, 2023, the VTuber market in Japan was 70 billion uh, yen, which is what, 3.5 billion USD, okay? So that's a lot of freaking money for the VTuber, you know, experience. And Samsung just believes that Mawari is simply a sleeping lion in this space. Okay, that's going to be bringing um, just the state of the art spatial computing uh, for near instant access. And uh, our basically job is out of these guardian nodes, uh, which is one of the nodes, is to basically just check and ensure uh, that, you know, all the other computing nodes are working and functioning appropriately to make sure that the network is, you know, running and running smoothly. Okay, so. Some of the you know different options they have here, they have three. We're gonna kind of discuss them a little bit here. Now, everything is a flat price of 333 bucks, okay? Not going up, down with purchases, anything like that, which is really nice. I like it when they do that. It doesn't make it as stressful when you go in to go ahead and like uh, pick up one of these right away, okay? Now they have the different plans, the visionary, the balance, and the catalyst. And to explain it a little bit, you know, essentially, you know, right here, early operator incentives per license. If you buy the catalyst, you're essentially getting more tokens up front initially, like 1,047 Mawari tokens up front in the early incentive program. Um, if you were wanting to really try to maybe, you know, try to get an ROI or something back right away versus, uh, you know, you're getting a lot less initially with plan one, but later on, you know, the percentage of tokens you're gonna be getting, uh, let's see right here, is just, you know, so much more versus like the catalyst, right? So if you're a visionary, you're believing in the project long-term, which like I said, they've been in this market for a while already and, uh, you know, cranking these uh, guardian nodes out uh, to really make sure they're monitoring their network. Everything's running really well. This is really difficult for me to decide. I want to know down in the comments down below what you guys think with these different, you know, plans here. Um, I'm trying to decide which one or uh, I have highly been considering uh, doing like a half and half of like Catalyst and Visionary and just leaving the balanced um, out completely. 
because I do think this is a project with all the groups that they have and all the people we just talked about with, you know, Netflix, Sega, T-Mobile, KDDI, BMW, all these folks that are going to be investing millions upon millions of dollars into uh, mixed reality and stuff. The long term for this can be insanely beneficial. Okay. Uh, but I do like getting those early uh, rewards, you know, right away. But, you know, with them, they could be pretty, pretty nice, uh, you know, incentive later on. So that's the difficulty for me deciding uh, on here. Uh, like I said, that, that Dr. Co gets you 5% off, enters you into winning two, one of two free nodes. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that already at the beginning of the video. Now, they are built on Arbitrum, okay, to bring the AI-powered 3D experiences to users worldwide. They're going to be utilizing Arbitrum uh, to function and utilize all this. Now, some of the negatives that I'm going to mention right here, okay, that I do not know because they don't have them published yet is one, the tokenomics, okay, because I always care a lot about tokenomics with like the cliff um, and the vesting for, you know, our investors and the team because, you know, Mawari, they got $17 million invested already, you know, 5 million annual recurring revenue and like tens of millions uh, invested with, through partners with the node sale already, okay? So I wanna know with that $17.3 million, when are we gonna see changes? Cause of course that would change kind of your concept and thought process with, um, you know, these uh, plan one, two and three, okay? So those are upfront the like quote negatives that I, I don't have the information of right now. Now, um, you know, if you look through their roadmap, they do, you know, talk about they've been working on the network construction since 2022. Okay. Uh, been around, they're functioning, they're, they're cruising through everything. Everything's going really well. The Mawari token launch is estimated probably Q Q4 is what I had heard is what they're targeting. Um, and then of course, you know, once the network is live and the guardian nodes are running on that main net. That's what, and the Mawari token goes live. That's when you're going to be generating rewards. Now that's the second negative, right? Um, and then after one year, they are going to be sellable and you're going to be able to like, you know, move them along further along. Now, big question for you guys is always running them. Okay. You have to run these nodes. And then what's the difficulty of it? Here's kind of our things. We're going to pull this up. This is just here for my reminder. Now our hardware specifications is a eight gigabyte minimum four gigabytes. Okay. Recommended two gig, min one gigabyte. So you could run on those rack nerds, but if you're going to be running more than one guardian active license, now it says one to 10 here for this capacity. So if you're going to get like 10 nodes, you want to get like an eight gig, you know, this is going to cost you a little bit more. I would recommend Catabo if you get the eight gig, if you're going to do just the four gigs, uh, you know, you could probably get by with six, seven licenses on those in which the rack nerd uh, link down below is definitely the best uh, option for the year long purchase price. Now, max 100 licenses per node server. This is one thing where it says server, so I was trying to understand if this meant for a, you know, just a VP, VPS that we got going, which I do believe it does, but what they're saying here is scalability, okay? So, if you're gonna run 100 licenses, okay, if any of you have that deep of pockets, uh, you're gonna go ahead and need at least 12 cores and like 64 gigabytes of RAM. You know, if you're running like that many, you might as well just boot up one of your own, you know, nice computers in your home and, and run it that way versus, you know, how much that's gonna cost if you go ahead and go over to, you know, doing like a cloud, you know, VPS where it's gonna be like 45 bucks a month or something. You know, electricity wise then, you know, running like a gaming PC in your house is gonna be worth it. Um, otherwise, you know, if you do an eight gig, the uh, Contabo Cloud VPS, you know, it's like 421 a month if you buy like a whole year long, which is not too bad if you are looking to wanting to make sure that your nodes are running and running smoothly, okay? I say smoothly like that because if they aren't, you're obviously not gonna be getting your Mawari token if it's not doing the work. Now, those are kind of the big, big aspects here. Again, the big names is what I was really paying attention to. They also partnered with Qualcomm, which is a huge telecommunications uh, group, and Niantic, which if you don't know who they are, they're the ones who did like Pokemon Go. And before that, I'm forgetting the name of the game. But my point being, they have some big freaking names. And if you can imagine Pokemon Go with some augmented reality, some glasses, and you got a freaking like War Turtle, you know, popping up in front of you that you get to battle, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Right. Um, and really let's be honest, you know, if we're getting super deep in this and, um, you're starting to see obviously the projected amount that's going to be, you know, by 2030, they're estimating almost $400 billion of this AI driven immersive XR, uh, you know, mixed reality content. 
we're thinking like uh, Disney, right? We're thinking like Star Wars. You're thinking Universal Studios. Think about all the kind of uh, mixed augmented reality that yeah, especially amusement parks could do uh, with stuff like this. So I think it's really cool. I do think they have a, a great product here that they've been working on for a long time, already proven track record. So um, I feel very confident about these guys. Definitely going to be picking up a uh, fair amount of the uh, licenses. Again, um, I think I'm just going to split it. I think I really am. I think I'm just going to split 50-50 uh, between the plan one and the plan three uh, for the the different options for us. Uh, just so I can get some, some front load uh, right away and then get some of that long term because I think this is a very solid uh, long term company and group uh, that isn't just going to like, you know, spiral down and just, you know, we won't be talking about, you know, years to come. So that's my plan. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. And as always, stay warm, Wookiees. Ooh, <laughs>